It is with great joy that I join you all today to commission this newly constructed flower pot project. Today's event signifies an important step forward in our mission to drive the socioeconomic development of our country. The area around Flower Port, particularly Spinters Road, remains one of Accra's vibrant commercial hubs. Despite targeted in intercession improvement over the years to reduce congestion and improve connectivity at this critical junction, it has long struggled with heavy traffic congestions. The flower pot interchange is therefore a comprehensive solution to these long-standing traffic challenges, providing relief from congestion that has plagued this location for years. With this infrastructure, Mr. President, we mark another significant milestone in the government's commitment to improving road infrastructure across the country. I am proud to be part of this bold solution, which will greatly enhance mobility and improve the quality of life for residents and travelers alike. Our cherished guests, permit me to give a brief history of the Flower Port Interchange Project. Between 2003 and 2006, several studies were conducted to evaluate travel needs and propose the necessary interventions to reduce travel time and improve the movement of goods, people, and services within the urban region. These studies identified key projects for implementation including the school junction to motorway road, Gifford Road, Burma Camp Road, now known as the Mahama Road, Accra Tema Beach Road, Ashama Interchange, Teshi Link Road, and Matechuru Overpass, which is now known as the Flower Pot Interchange. As you may be aware, many of these projects initially identified under President Kofor's administration have either been completed or initiated. One notable project is this famous flower pot interchange that we are commissioning today. Although sword was cut for this project in 2016, actual constru construction began in March 2017 under the leadership of President Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado. Since then, the project has undergone significant modifications to enhance its scope and functionality. Originally as planned as two overpasses over the flower pot runabout and the motorway, the design was ingeniously expanded to include continuous viaducts from Palace Mall to Boundary Road, an extension beyond Palace Mall to facilitate movement from Spinters Road, a ramp down onto the motorway from Palace Mall, and a ramp up from Shashi. Additionally, general improvements were made to Boundary Road, the old tunnel and surrounding roads in cantonments. These enhancements have resulted in a comprehensive and a modern interchange that we see today. An infrastructure truly designed to meet the needs of a growing urban population and enhance connectivity across the city of Accra. Let me highlight the key features of this project which demonstrate the extent of our commitment to building an enduring solution. These impressive structures include an 802-meter viaduct extending from Palace Mall intersection 
with Matechuru Road over the East Legon Boundary Road. Ramps from Shashi and towards Tema, providing seamless connectivity across the Greater Accra metropolitan area. A newly constructed road through the old tunnel in East Legon towards the airport direction and a road from Gifford Road overpass through Cantonments area. Dedicated walkways and cycling lanes promoting safer travel for pedestrians and cyclists. Laybys to support public transportation along the project route and other essential elements such as drainage, signage, and crash barriers. This infrastructure also includes a 100 car parking area under the viaduct in East Legon to support local activities, along with two beautifully designed runabouts featuring fountains and public art. In addition to these infrastructural elements, we have thoughtfully designed vibrant and welcoming spaces under the flyover to enrich the community experience. These features, metal fencing to define the urban room space and enhance public safety. Murals painted on piers and retaining walls, adding aesthetic and cultural value to the environment. An off-street parking facility near the East Legon Police Station to alleviate on-street parking. A dedicated urban room with seating areas featuring thought-provoking art pieces offering a place for gathering and reflection. Public realm improvement at runabout, celebrating Ghanaian culture with fountain and art, depicting our traditions and culture. Recreational amenities, including five aside football pitch, basketball court, and table tennis areas, especially for the youth of Accra. Essential public service facilities, including food court, a fire station, police post, and an ambulance station. Additional parking to support the sporting facilities and, and local event centers in East Legon. Beyond enhancing mobility, these facilities were strategically de designed to support local businesses and generate employment opportunities. The Flowerpot Interchange will enable seamless connectivity between key towns and areas such as Osu, La, Cantonments, Chado, East Airport, Lejokuku, East Legon, Adrigano, Adentan, and Medina, thereby stimulating economic activities and providing safer routes for commun commuters. This project was funded by the government of Ghana and a facility from afri -Azim Bank, constructed by Messrs. China Railway No. 5 Engineering Limited and supervised by Messrs. Diok Limited on behalf of the Department of Urban Rules, now the National Rules Authority. I am happy to, be, to say that this project has been completed to the highest standards and speculations upheld by the Ministry of Roads and Highways. Ladies and gentlemen, today's project is part of a broader vision. Other similar flagship projects aimed at improving the overall road network are also progressing steadily and will soon be ready for use by all Ghanaians. I want to take this opportunity to reaffirm the ministry's commitment to improving the overall conditions of roads across the country. Despite the challenges we face, we remain determined to achieve this goal. 
as you may be aware, certain development partner-funded projects, including the Tema Aflawo Road, have faced un unavoidable delays due to measures implemented under the debt exchange program. In the past days, I came across a trending video of a concerned citizen expressing frustration over the state of the Tema Aflao road project. The lady highlighted the challenges commuters endure, as, such as waking up much earlier than usual to avoid being stuck in morning traffic, and the inconvenience of children having to rise early to get to school on time. These difficulties are, are a direct result of delays in completing these critical projects due to the challenges we face with our creditors under the debt exchange program. We, are fully, we fully share the concerns of the lady and the general public and have activated our maintenance system to address the immediate issues. Specifically, for the Tema Aflawo Road, the mobile maintenance unit of the National Roads Authority has been tasked to undertake targeted interventions in the coming days to provide some relief to commuters. Similar maintenance efforts are being rolled out to mitigate the difficulties faced by motorists on other stalled projects such as the Tema Akosomo Road project. We, are also, we, also, we have also completed asphalt overlays on the ground level of the Nungwa interchange and the PTC interchange in Takrade to alleviate the stress on motorists using these sessions. Distinguished guests, the completion of this project is vital to the socioeconomic development of our country. And so we continue to negotiate with our development partners to ensure the project's full completion. I urge all to remain patient and continue to support us as we work together towards achieving this shared goal. Ladies and gentlemen, it has come to my attention that public road infrastructure across the country is being used, is being defaced by unauthorized advertisements and notices. This includes the indiscriminate installation of outdoor advertisement structures, such as billboards and signposts, on medians and at intersections, as well as the posting of notices on road signs and traffic controllers. These practices not only contravene regulatory provisions, but also compromise road safety, diminish aesthetic value of our public spaces, and lead to misinformation for road users. I take this opportunity to urge the Advertising Association of Ghana to enforce its own code of conduct on outdoor advertisement and call on assemblies and the Ghana Police Service to work collaboratively with the Ghana National Roads Authority to ensure compliance and preserve the integrity of our road infrastructure. To ensure the durability and safety of our urban infrastructure, including this beautiful interchange, I have tasked the bridge maintenance session of the National Roads Authority to institute a robust maintenance system for all urban bridges. This includes conducting regular inspection, structural repairs, and replacing any damaged components on time. As I conclude, I wish to express my utmost gratitude to you, Mr. President, for your vision and leadership which has made this remarkable achievement in the road sector possible. Mr. President, Ebo Madewa, Ebo Madewa, Ebo Madewa.
Bomadi, To the people of Ghana, this state of the art interchange is built for you. I urge everyone to take pride in it, maintain it responsibly, and use it safely. Mr. President, colleague ministers, members of parliament, Nime, Name, I thank you for your attention.